Hello and welcome to your latest daily energy report. I'm Ben Lack. Solar City has announced that it will install a 1.6 megawatt solar power system for the Chico Unified School District. At also, Solar City has launched a new program, Solar Chico, to offer residents and businesses discounts on solar power. Installations will include more than 6,600 solar panels at Pleasant Valley High, Chico High, Marsh Junior High, Chapman Elementary, and the district's corporate yard. The five sites comprise one of the largest commercial solar projects in Chico and are expected to produce more than 2 million kilowatt hours of electricity each year. Solar City will finance, install, own, and maintain the district's five solar power systems, while the district will pay for the power they produce through a 20 year power purchase agreement. Under Solar Chico, Chico residents and businesses who go solar with Solar City through December 31, 2011, will receive a $1,000 discount whether they lease or purchase a solar program. As part of the program, Solar City will also offer Chico homeowners a comprehensive evaluation of their home's energy use and provide recommendations for efficiency improvements for only $99, a 67% discount off the standard price of a Solar City home energy evaluation. SolarBridge Technologies has received $1.75 million in grant money from the U.S. Department of Energy's Advanced Research Projects Agency Energy Program. SolarBridge will use the funds to program advanced research and development for a new electric technique that improves the output of solar panels. The technique is specifically aimed at large solar power plants where many solar panels are connected together. The technology called differential power processing involves correcting the power differences that inherently occur when two solar modules and counting different amounts of sun are connected together. The power conversion device incorporating DPP will be much smaller and less expensive than current electric solutions. Eastern Illinois University and Honeywell have unveiled the School Renewable Energy Center, which is one of the largest university biomass installations in the country. The REC is a 19,000 square foot stream plant that will provide heat for buildings and classrooms across the university grounds. It's driven by two large biomass gasifers. The REC also features a back pressure turbine that is powered by superheating steam from one of the boilers to generate electricity, as well as two ground mounted solar arrays. The turbine and arrays will provide other sources of renewable energy for the university and generate almost 3 million kilowatt hours of electricity each year. That's your Daily Energy Report. To learn about these stories and more, please visit us at dailyenergyreport.com and also make sure to check out our podcast on iTunes. For the Daily Energy Report, I'm Ben Lack. Have a great day.